when it says oh shivers down my gut thank you to the coldest water for sponsoring this video as always hey guys and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited that you guys are here today you guys are literally the epitome that means the perfect example for all my sat vocabulary <laughs> of awesome thank you so much like i say in each video for loving julie and the phantoms as much as i do for you guys who are here when I started the first video literally three weeks ago. Actually, yeah, three weeks. I wasn't going to pick my nose, I swear. Literally three weeks ago, I started this video. And I didn't have any intentions on creating a series. But you guys really responded well to my views on what I feel like season two should be like. And what I think it would be like based off of context clues from season one. Plus some behind the scenes footage I found on Instagram and just kind of edited it together. So I'm really happy that you guys enjoy that. I think um, we're almost at 100,000 views. So thank you so much. And from the bottom of my heart, I don't like getting sentimental. What? I don't like getting sentimental because I'm really <laughs> goofy. We are going to talk about the chain of events and the roller coaster of emotions I've been on today. So not only did I post a video with no intention of getting close to you know, a couple people, a couple of my friends viewing me and like, why is she so obsessed with Julie and the Phantoms? And my answer to that would be, why aren't you? Anyways, to get to my point, <laughs> it's been a crazy day and I am nothing but grateful, nothing but blessed. Um, like I say in every video, I, I don't know if you guys think I'm not showering, but I am. Every time I make a Phantoms video, I try to have Carolyn's shirt on because I want to promote her stuff so much. She, I mean, anybody that takes their time, like me doing these videos, or, well, I do, I mean, well, it's not the best example. Anybody that takes their time to put something into their art, I will absolutely promote it if I am absolutely and genuinely in love with it. And clearly, these ha this has been on my body for the last four videos. So, yes, I love it. Caroline Shada on Etsy. A lot of people have been saying the shirts are sold out or they need to be restocked or something like that. Just favorite her store, and then I think, don't quote me. I think you'll get a notification on it if she posts like more about it. But so today I posted this video. I believe, I believe that we just one dream away from who we're meant to be standing on the edge of crap. was me charging into Netflix's headquarters um, for season two of Julie and the Phantoms. Hashtag tell your friends. And I didn't expect it to do as well as it did. But as you see, my um, my notifications are literally on blast. And I'm just so appreciative that you guys think I am a comedian. Because half of the time, I am just kind of entertaining myself. So I'm glad that you guys like it. This is actually really dope, really cool. Um, I got to talk, well, not really talk with Carolyn, but we did like the little voice memos across um, through Instagram and she is literally the sweetest human being. Her and Jeremy, like they're the couple I want to play charades with and have a glass of wine with. Like I would genuinely want to do that. Like they just seem like the kind of couple that's great at fun games that don't involve any technology. Like th those are the best times when you don't have to focus on my phone and oh what's going on in the social world who cares let's connect <laughs> but anyways um super sweet um i appreciate jeremy shada he followed me on instagram today literally the goat the greatest of all time ah ha ha y'all when i say just post your art just do it nike not sponsored but it could be when I say I'm a big advocate for just posting what you believe in and posting in what you think is the best work you could have ever produced, you don't know what it could do. I had no idea that a nine second video would get as much attention as it did today. And I'm just very grateful for that um, because I do go hard for this show for the primary reason of wanting a season two. Remember the contest I said in the link in the description below. If you guys buy one item from the link in the description below and DM me a picture on Instagram, or if you don't have Instagram, you email it to me, you will have the opportunity, I'll do a random drawing, you will have the opportunity to be on this channel and we're gonna do some Julie and the Phantoms trivia, some Julie and the, we're gonna watch an episode together, we're gonna react to some things. You guys are gonna give me some of your season two hopeful predictions. So remember, you have to send me a picture so I can see that you've got your coldest gear. Um, so yeah. Awesome. And that the winner will be announced on October 31st. And I will be doing this every month at the end of every month. 
until further notice. So get to it. But here nor there, I told you guys to ask me some questions and I will be answering them right now. Oh, this is crazy. You guys got my videos at 17,000 views. Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. I really do. Okay. Wow. You guys have some great questions. Awesome. Okay. Wow. Guys, thank you. I'm going to try to start from the beginning and get through all of them. So I'm going to do like a quick speedy round and go. How did you find the show? Was it recommended or did you see lots of people watching it? I'm actually a big Kenny Ortega fan from all of his high school musical days until now. And so I actually saw him post the trailer and I watched it on Netflix the day it came out. Actually, that's a lie. I started it, stopped it. Then a couple days later, I binge watched the whole series from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. And I haven't watched anything since. Send help. No, I've watched a couple things in between, but for the most part, I can reenact probably any scene you ask me to. So in conclusion, send help. What's your favorite thing about Julie and the Phantoms? Everything, the music, the story, um, the individual stories of the characters that we'll soon hopefully learn at Netflix. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Uh -huh. <clears throat> What's one of your dreams? Because it's also going to come true. Also, you deserve blowing up. That's so sweet. Naya, I, be, I see your messages and I just thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, my dream is to be on Netflix. I mean, if it's not obvious to be an actress, not just Netflix, I'm not just going to limit myself, but to be an actress and to be somebody that people can look at and feel like they're an inspiration. And that's kind of what happened with me with Julian the Phantoms. I looked at Madison Reyes and uh, Jada Marie and a lot of people are like, weirded out or have questions like you let a 16 year old inspire you yeah the youth is the next generation they're the game changers um how does it feel knowing that some of the cast of julian phantoms have seen your videos pretty awesome pretty awesome i've been going hard for this content promoting for a season two so it's really cool to see that girl i started watching your youtube videos first and now i'm just glad everyone else is discovering you i really appreciate it thank you for the love do you think Luke and Julie will become a romance? Honestly, I hope they hold it out for as long as possible so we can get as many seasons as possible. I kind of want to see some drama in season two, like I've said in some of my prediction videos. So um, I think eventually, maybe season three. Absolutely season three. What's your favorite Julie and the Phantom scene? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm going to say. I was standing on the edge, edge of... of... Wow, that was pretty hot. Great. Girls, am I right? Wow. Crazy yeah. chemistry. No. <laughs> that was pretty Definitely hot. that's my favorite scene. One, because it was improvised. Uh, Those girls, kings right? actually did that. Yeah. And two, no. it's just, it's so raw and authentic, it's, it's hilarious. If you can be casted on any show, what would it be and why? Julie and the Phantoms, because I'm in love. No, honestly, Julie and the Phantoms, um, it's just got a great storyline. It's really authentic. It's something that we, I feel like we all really needed in 2020. When, it, when they say feel good and inspirational, they're not lying. Um, but yeah, I would, I would love to be cast on Julian and the Phantoms. Um, even as help on like, the, like as a behind the scenes person, I do photography and videography as well. Not me promoting myself and actually asking for a job at Julian and the Phantoms, at Netflix, at Kenny Ortega. Um, no, honestly, in front or behind the camera with Julian and the Phantoms. But if it's away from JATP, um, I don't have a specific, I mean, I, I grew up on Disney and I grew up on a little bit of Nickelodeon and a lot of Cartoon Network. So really anywhere in those networks, I am very bubbly and lively. So I can't really see myself on like a NCIS, like bad cop show, like, ooh, I, it's just not my personality right now. Um, your videos make me so happy. I'd love to do a Netflix party with you and some other people who love the show. Eventually, I'm going to do that. That's actually a part of the contest, so I would love to do that. That's going to be November's contest, so she's actually ahead of the game. If you could have a role in season two, what do you want it to be? I want to be Flynn's older sister. So bad. We don't know a lot about people's, like, um... Uh, we don't know a lot about the characters' backgrounds, except for Luke and a little bit in Julie's. 
And we can kind of guess a little bit with Carrie's, but we don't have any solidified information. So I would love to be Flynn's older sister. But it's only because I feel like she's the only one on the show. Looks wise, I feel like I could resemble and kind of get away with. Um, probably Madison. I mean, sorry, I was about to say Madison, but probably Julie. But it would have to be like a long lost distant cousin because I don't look anything like Julie. So, yeah, that would be really cool. Um, I know this is basic, but your favorite phantom, Alex, hands down. He's super like sassy. I always do his little carry move from all eyes on me. Where are you from? I am originally from Fayetteville, North Carolina, nine dime two six dreamville. Um, so yeah, Fayetteville, North Carolina, but I will hopefully be moving to Atlanta once I graduate college in six months. Favorite dirty candy song. Mm, there's only two, so we need a season two for more Dirty Candy. My favorite Dirty Candy song. Wow. I love the choreography. I love the energy it gives me. I, I love it. Wow is my favorite. Who's your favorite character and why? I know you guys asked me who my favorite Phantom was, but my favorite character would probably have to be Luke. He's super passionate. I mean, with anything that he does, he's, he goes with the flow, rolls with the punches, lives lives to the fullest. And I feel like that's what resembles, you know, me. What's your favorite song in the show and why? This is a tough one. Because a lot of, a, a couple of the songs have to grow on me and because I've only been listening to the album. <laughs> and it's the only thing that's been really guarding my life for the past month. Um, I don't know. I don't, I can't really, I can never choose. That's a lie. It's now or never by Sunset Curve. That gets me hype every time. I love rock music. Um, I love guitars, so I have to pick now or never. It's between that and Edge of Great. My favorite episode is Final, um, um, my favorite episode is, oh, that's hard. It's between Finally Free and Edge of Great. My favorite line from Julie and the Phantoms, <laughs> Alex, I wish I couldn't see you. <laughs> How did you hear about Julie and the Phantoms? Kenny Ortega's um, Instagram. What was your reaction when the cast noticed you? Not going to lie. I was low key like, I fangirled for a hot second, but it's just because like my notification, my, am I illiterate? my notifications were going off. So I was like, what's going on? What is something happening to me? And I, 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 what just happened there? I was, I was shocked. I actually got my reaction of Tori and Jada, um, commenting and DMing me on Instagram. So I thought that was really dope. Really cool. Uh, season two explanation of Caleb's line Covington. I've got an offer that you can't refuse from the song, nothing to lose. Okay. This is a great question. Thank you for asking that. I think, Co Caleb Covington, he's not working alone. I think there's another ghost. I think it's like a yin and yang kind of thing. He, I mean, if somebody offered him something to be able to collect all the souls or whatever he's doing, he's got to be working for someone higher or working with someone. So I'm curious to see about that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in with me, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. Get ready to rock out!